we are gatekeepers of the home and the nation, relentless in prayer and intercession. Today I am living as a servant of the Lord. Every dust on your marital life, every dust on your marital destiny must not leave this place with you. I said you must not leave this place with you. In the name of Jesus. Enterprising and creative, we are bold, daring, and full of faith. We are Daughters of Destiny. This is day number four of 100 Days of Fire and Power. Always an awesome time of the word, of prayer, of revelation, of insight and of wisdom. God really opens up to us and we find out that every time we key into this 100 days, we become better. Even character-wise, we become better spiritually, we become better in our business because the Holy Spirit is ready to release to us another dimension in 2019. I hope you're ready to receive it. Go on, can we rise up to worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the strong and breasted one, the lily of the valley. Just magnify him this morning, give him praise, wherever you may be, in your room, in your car, lift up your voice and worship him. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Thank you. Blessed be your name. We magnify you today. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Be exalted. Thank you, Father. Blessed, blessed be your name. Yes, Lord. You are gracious. You are holy. Worship him right now. Yes. Pray, 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 pray. 
you charge yourself in the spirit. Lift up your voice, pray the Holy Ghost this morning. Zagida Baga Shatakayama. The program is called 100 Days of Fire and Power. This is how you build up your fire. Shegede Bro, Zita Vita Shatakaye. Masatana Pragada Baga Zina. Sheli Bagiza Dagaye. Rebo Gozada Galima Shatakayama. Zika Zina Pre, Ika Tamaye. Lebo Gozita Dagayama. Wherever you are, pray the Holy Ghost. If you cannot pray the Holy Ghost, this is the time you can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Begin to say, Say, Holy Ghost, shout with me this morning. Yet Zika Dagayama Satayama. Zika Ni Pre, Jeme Pia. Satamala, Satamali. I decree baptism. If you have not received the Holy Ghost, put your hand on your head. As you put that hand, I decree the fire of God. Begin to fall through. Let your tongue be loose. In the name of Jesus, let your tongue be loose. All over this auditorium, all over this airways. As many that desire the gift of the Holy Spirit. This morning, let there be a fresh baptism. In the name of Jesus. Begin to say, I believe I receive, I believe I receive, in Jesus' name. I decree your tongue begin to change. Exodus chapter number 3 verse 21 
Exodus 3.21. It says, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go home, ye shall not go empty. Somebody this year, favor of God will work for you. You will not drive your car on empty tank. Your financial tank shall be filled by favor. I prophesy to somebody, your spiritual tank shall be filled by favor. Favor. So when somebody 
person loves you, that person will favor you. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, 2019. Ah, may the love of God upon my life increase. And you lift up your right hand. Lift up your hands. Say, the love of God increase upon my life. This year, in the name of Jesus, I want to enjoy the favor of God. Ha. In Jesus' mighty name. And you know, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he sent. We are all favored with God. And that's why he decided to save us, even when we were yet in our sins. Isn't he a good God? Yes. Isn't he a wonderful God? Yes. That love will not dry out. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. So favor shown on a particular child. This is where we're now going to begin to learn. Because what I've said before, there are things you probably have heard before. You know that favor is good. Favor brings goodness. It brings advantages. But now the Holy Spirit wants us to pay attention to certain things. Favor shown on a particular child or on a particular person, especially in the family, if it is not carefully managed, can bring sibling rivalry. And so as parents, we need to be careful. And even some of us, our parents might have shown us favor. And we are now experiencing certain things with our siblings. So what are those things we need to be careful about? If you are a parent, be careful not to show favoritism openly. It is good to favor somebody. And sometimes you cannot help loving somebody. Because you see, love is unconditional. And it would even be earned. Because some children are very good, very obedient. Even the word of God says Abel's offering was accepted. But Cain's offering was not accepted. Because he did not follow the instruction. What please God? And God said, if you have done well, Will you not be accepted? And so it could even be that that child is enjoying favor because the child is good. But you see, if you are the one enjoying such favor, you also need to be careful. Biblical examples have shown us that when you love a child due to the good nature of that child or the peculiarity of that person, maybe not your child, maybe a staff, maybe somebody around you, you need to manage it carefully. We saw in the case of Joseph, just because of favor, he was thrown into the pit, sold into slavery, if not for the mercy of God. This morning, wisdom will come our way in Jesus' name. Genesis 37 verse 3. Genesis 37 verse 3. Why was it that Jacob favored Joseph? What did Joseph do? The Bible says in Genesis 37 verse 3, this Jacob loved Joseph. He said, because he was the child of Joseph was his baby. And I want to even extrapolate from study. It's not just because he was a child of his own age. That was the first child from his beloved. The woman he really loved was Rachel. But circumstances pushed Leah on him. And Leah began to produce children. They born, they born, they born. I see if the children will bring the law. Some of us don't we do it. But the children will not buy the law. And this man, when eventually the woman he loved produced a child, the favor began to lose out of control. And what did he do? The Bible tells us that he made a coat of different colors. But we do not have a record. That he gave the others a coat of one color. <laughs> At least if you give somebody a coat of many colors, give the other people something. <laughs> How many parents are here? You go and buy a coat of many colors and give one child out of five. Whether the children of these days they will not question you. That can be the beginning of the problem. And now I want to ask, how will you feel if your father or your mother gives your brother a coat of many colors and doesn't give you? So it's a natural human reaction. We need to be conscious of these things. Do not allow your emotions to overwhelm you, even if it's a good one. Seek to balance it. That takes wisdom. That takes wisdom. You send one child abroad and you don't send the others. It can lead to, except there's a problem, you must manage it properly, except there's a financial problem along the way. Give your children equal opportunities. If you can, wherever you are, give everybody 
find equal opportunities. So the thing now is, how do I show my love to this person? I really love this person. Yes, you can show the love to that person, but manage it. So that it won't lead to problems. There have been so many family problems because of sibling rivalry. And the problem is even being transferred to their own families. The Lord will help us this morning. So what do we learn from that? Jacob was not tactful in showing favor to Joseph. He was not tactful. There are other ways you can show the favor, but don't expose it. There are other ways you can respond to people that respond to you well, better than others. But be careful. And now for you that you have been shown favor, you've got to manage it. What did Joseph do? He now began to tell his dreams, if you read Genesis 37. He now began to tell him, I had a dream. Already there was undercurrent of jealousy and envy. People may not say it, but you must be able to discern it. Are you with me? They may not say it. But you've got to pray that God will open your eyes of revelation to discern it wherever you are. I dare say, as you move on in 2019 and God begins to open realms upon your life, you've got to be careful because some companies you keep, you may have to change it. You may have to redefine it. Because jealousy and envy, they are natural human reactions. Because when the favor of God is released upon your life, God can favor anybody anyhow. And he doesn't owe anybody any apology. But you that you are receiving it, you've got to manage it. There are some people that you honor, just honor them, so that they don't begin to say, hey, is it now that she cannot greet us again? I called her, she didn't reply. I sent her a text. She doesn't pick her phone anymore. And it could just be that you didn't pick the phone for some other reasons. So what do you do? You will be overly humble. Oh, I'm sorry I saw your missed call. I hope you are not annoyed. What did I call it? Be overly If you really want to go somewhere great, there are people that are watching you. You must be overly humble so that you sort them out. They are looking for little, little faults. Because the favor of God is speaking upon your life. The Lord will help us this morning. In Jesus' name. So what do you do? Do not flaunt your privileges. Don't flaunt your privileges. You see, some things you cannot hide, but some things you flaunt carelessly. You know what Joseph did? He didn't mean to flaunt it, but he was careless about that information. It's not everybody you discuss your vision. I had a dream. Your dream is your vision. It's not every time you go about, I won't have this vision. Watch. Watch the reaction of that person. And sense, deserve. Don't flaunt your privileges or gifts or information carelessly. Jealousy is a terrible spirit. What is jealousy? What is envy? I researched. You see, envy is a feeling of discontent. Envy is a feeling of covetousness with regards to another person's privileges. With regards to another person's success or possession. How do you some people, when they see that you have some things, or you could even have the feeling, you feel like possessing what the other person has. That's envy. Somebody's child is doing well. All of a sudden, yeah, which school did your child go to? Eh, what lesson teacher? Eh, immediately, you want to possess what that person has. I'm not saying you shouldn't emulate what is good. But by the time you begin to feel a sense of possession of what somebody has that is good, that is envy. We need to check that spirit. This year we will not walk in a contrary spirit. In the name of Jesus. Jealousy now. You know, I said envy is discontent. You're not happy that this thing is happening to that person. The feeling just comes from here. And it can happen to anybody. So when it happens to you, you check it. You may see somebody is doing well, all of a sudden you are not happy. Why are you not happy? You shut it down. That's the, that's the enemy coming and you should say in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, renew your mind. If you are having an, an evil reaction to what is good, you know that is the devil. He's already attacking your mind. Nip it in the board, shut it down. And say, no, 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 I'm not going to feel this way. In fact, I'm sending congratulations to that person. What did you do? You have shut down the voice of the enemy. If you don't shut it down, it will begin to grow. And you don't want to be a conduit of envy. So, when you are not content or you, you covet what some 
else has. That's envy. Now, what is jealousy? Jealousy is when you resent uh, somebody's success. Have you been somewhere before? Some people just hate you for no reason. Which apostle? Apostle of where? Where is she coming from? They don't even know me. I don't even know them. Where? Which? I don't even know you. I've never even interacted with you. Why are you resenting me? Some of you will get to that space. You begin to face opposition for no reason. It's jealousy. So what do you do? You have a responsibility to guard yourself. So you are not sucked in there. Because by the time somebody who resents you and you are not careful to know that this is jealousy and you are trying to settle scores, you can't settle. A Yoruba proverb, where I come from, I'm a Yoruba woman from Nigeria in Africa. We walk by proverbs. They are wise sayings. He says, Ijailara Utoro. I'm true. Oh, she will let you. I translate. He says that the fight of jealousy can never end. Somebody is greater than me. You cannot say it. But you feel it. So some matters will never be settled. Don't waste your time. Move ahead. Don't get sucked up in such contentions. It could even be in the family. Maybe you are the wife of a brother to another brother. And this other person feels since she came to this family, everybody loves her. No, it's because you are well brought up and you know how to take care of people. And so they must love you. Hallelujah. They have to love you. And so, you walk in humility, just leave them in their space. Don't allow them to contaminate you. Hallelujah. Are we getting something this morning? What are the other issues that we need to note about favor? Very important. Favor can open a door and give you access. But your character will keep you in that room. The room that favor opens the door for you to enter, it is your character that will keep you there. In 2019, the advice for you and me is we must work on our character. We must work on our character. People have lost favor because they didn't work on their character. Or they slipped. Or they allowed something to come in. They probably had a good character before and they were favored before. But the minute they were careless and they allowed pollution to come in, they lost the favor. And it's a terrible thing to fall from grace to grass. In 2019, we won't fall from grace to grass. In the name of Jesus. Next issue that we need to take note of. Favor can help you to bypass protocol. You've heard it before. Favor can clear protocol for you. But you have the responsibility to work on your quality and consistency. They can bypass the protocol for you. Oh, anybody that needs to enter this university must get so, 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 so. You, your cutoff is just on the average. Just, and they say, okay, for catchment purposes, okay, anybody from this area will lower the cutoff to 38 instead of 40. You know what they used to call it in school? Let my people <laughs> After they allow the people to enter the university, is it favor that will go and work for you? So you and I have the responsibility. When favor has bypassed protocol for us, you know, meaning we didn't meet up to the criteria, but favor allowed us. We cannot continue in mediocrity. Are you with me? You can't continue in mediocrity because favor allowed you to, to bypass protocol. Oh, favor made you to be among those who were chosen to be something. Do you think every day that favor will keep on exempting you? No. You've got to improve your game. You've got to improve your quality. You've got to be consistent in what you're doing. We thank God favor is our heritage in Christianity, but it does not negate or cancel the fact that you and I must work on what we're doing. If favor makes me to buy something from you, and I get home and the thing is not good. Will I come back? That's how people lose business. Hallelujah. Yeah. Favor should not be abused by carelessness. Favor should not be abused by taking advantage of a situation or persons. You know that this person favored you. The next thing you are abusing it. Going back to that person. To demand for more and more. You know, there are some things that people will do for you. Common sense will teach you.
which you are now, that this person, I shouldn't worry the person again. There are some of us that don't know the rules and norms of friendship. Somebody can do something for you out of the norm. The next thing you have announced again, go and meet her. And the person told you, this thing I don't really do for people, but I just go and meet her. Beggar very well. Don't 
Don't you know where I brought you off from? You that you are no one, I made you to be somebody. I gave you this and that. There are people that God has blessed with wonderful jobs. Yet they do not remember when they were going about with prayer points. There are men who enjoy favor because their wives came to light them before God for them. And when the job came, they began to womanize the forgotten. They do not know that they can lose favor. But you see, the thing with it, it is like so. You will still be feeling it, but you don't know that the soap is no longer there. You will still be feeling it until it begins to dry out. What is it that God has done in your life that right now you don't even pray again? You are too busy. The very business you cried unto God for is now keeping you away from the presence of God. Favor can be lost. We will lose favor in 2019. Lift up your voice as you rise on your feet. Let's take our book and begin to pray this morning. Say, in 2019, I will lose favor with God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody out there, pray, pray, pray. Hallelujah. Let's take our prayers from page number 12 of 100 Days of Fire and Power. Say in this year and beyond, Father, make me a candidate of your favor. In the name of Jesus, make me a candidate of your favor. Make my husband and my children intercessors. As soon as you start to pray, you carry your family into the prayer. Pray, 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 Lord. Make me a candidate of your favor. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, at the favor of God, made a way for Daniel, Mephibosheth, and Esther. Lord, make a way for me by favor in 2019. In the name of Jesus, make a way for me by favor. Make a way for my spouse, my children, the ministry of God's of destiny by favor. Favor, make a way for my souls. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, let your favor bring out every gifting and talent, every potential in my life, in the life of my children, in the life of my spouse, in my work. Let your favor advertise my potential. In the name of Jesus, let your favor bring my potential uh -huh, to the limelight. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice this morning. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say by the favor of God, I receive divine connection to nobles. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, by favor, I receive divine connection to high places. In the name of Jesus, by the favor of God, by the favor of God, I receive connection to nobles. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, Father, let your favor cause helpers of destiny. Help us on my destiny to locate me. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Oh Lord, let your favor cause helpers of my destiny to locate me. Bye. 
here, we should be able to increase in this. Yeah. Lift up your voice. Say, I will increase in faith with man and with God in the name of Jesus. My favor will never cease. My favor will increase. My favor will not decrease in the name of Jesus. My spouse's favor, my children's favor in 2019. Somebody pray. Your prayers have an effect. Your prayers will bring result. Hallelujah. My favor will increase this year in Jesus' name. It will not decrease. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say everything that is limiting or preventing my favor. You know we have discussed these things now. It could be character deficiency. It could be carelessness. It could be not knowing how to manage information. Whatever it is, say whatever it is, Lord, it will not prosper. Give me wisdom to manage my favor in the name of Jesus. Restoration of all that I love. 
lost in the past seasons of my life. I declare that this year I am above and never beneath. Favor is my portion. The lines are falling for me in pleasant places. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. Right now, you've got your anointing oil. Psalm 92, verse 10 says, Your horn shall be exalted like the horn of the unicorn, and your head anointed with fresh oil. Every day we anoint ourselves and we decree and declare. Be your own prophet this morning. I decree and declare, I anoint myself a fresh oil, a fresh revelation in the name of Jesus. Begin to decree and walk in freshness. Let me tell you, when there is something that is oiled, if you're trying to open something and the thing is rusty, it's not going to open very well, is it? But when you put oil, it will be able to be lubricated. Lift up your voice. My life will be lubricated with favor in 2019. In the name of Jesus, my ministry is lubricated with favor. Areas of tightness, the favor of God will speak. Aha! In the name of Jesus, yes, I receive a fresh oil of favor into my life, into my husband's life, my children's life. Oil of favor, favor, favor. Speak it into your life, and so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Right now, let's take the Holy Communion. We break bread every day. Let's take the Holy Communion and strengthen. And as we receive the body of Christ and the blood of Jesus, it speaks favor for us. In the name of Jesus, it speaks divine health. Quickly serve it, serve it. The bread is blessed, the wine is blessed. Serve round quickly. For those online, if you don't have this, go get bread, go get a biscuit, juice, and begin to pray upon it. To pray upon it. As I'm receiving today, I'm receiving life. I shall not die before my time in the name of Jesus. Till the ripe old age, I will see my children's children in the name of Jesus. As I receive the body of Christ, this will speak for my family also, for my husband and children. There shall be no sorrow in my life, in my family in 2019 in the name of Jesus. As I receive the body of Jesus, he was beaten, he was wounded for my transgressions, bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. Our sickness will not prosper in my body in 2019. In the name of Jesus, I'm walking in divine hell. In the name of Jesus, I'm walking in divine victory. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. So right now, everyone, let's lift up our bread as we Partake of the bread. Thank you, Jesus. Let's partake of the wine. Lift up your voice and pray the Holy Ghost for just two. Masatani brogo shinda ga ye bogo satani ma mandele brogo zinga di break shape teke de bro. Masatani brogo di masanta ya. Thank you, Father. Blessed, blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And so, Father, we bless your name. We thank you for what you have released into our lives today. Your favor will continue to speak for us throughout 2019. In Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. God bless you. And for all those only, in addition to prayers, we are also, in addition to prayers, we are careful about our health. So we are on 100 day celery juice challenge. We are encouraged to drink 50 cl of celery juice. We will bring it a 50 cl, drink it on an empty stomach. You will come and thank the Lord at the end of 100 days for the major transformation of your life. Hallelujah. Right now I'm going to invite our sister to lead us in worship. I'm going to invite our sister to come and lead us in worship. Hallelujah. Let's welcome Sister Grace. Let's put our hands together as she leads us in worship. Praise the Lord. Draw me close to you. Um, Apostle has told us that it's love. Love opens the door to fear. So I want to run after God. Hallelujah.
children the favor of God in 2019. At Daughters of Destiny, we want every woman to know that help is always available. We are here to offer godly and practical counsel for various issues peculiar to you as a woman. Contact us today via our counseling hotline 0708-307-6210 and 0909-328-8336. You will overcome. You are a daughter of destiny. Daughters of Destiny